isn't a goddamn game, this is the Northumbrian Water Innovation Festival. From all corners of the country, thousands of people have come to Newcastle. I don't care where you're from or who you are, I want you to innovate. They are here to solve the problems of the world with a man famously hard to please. I want you to check up on these guys, no messing about. People look like they're here to have fun, I want ideas. Nobody's going to make a fool out of me. Innovate. Day four, we'll see the teams developing the solutions to their problems. So let's hope the sprints don't run away on them. I don't want you to procrastinate, I want you to innovate. Welcome to day four of Innovation Festival 2019. Flying up high in the sky, can you see me now? Bumbling round above ground, doing mama proud. Taking in sights and delights of the pretty flowers, living, living that, that life. life. Stay up till like one in the morning, yeah. two in the morning, Later. quarter past two in the morning. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us. So it's day four already and it's been a pretty emotional ride for our sprint leaders. In three words. Diversity. Inspiring. Exhausting. Absolutely flipping amazing. Frantic. Interesting. Inspirational. Ideas. Tiring. Creativity. <laughs> Collaboration. Creative. Exhausting. Hot, wet and steamy. Fun. 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 Fabulous. Yes. Amazing. Worthwhile. We're making change. Welcome to day four here at Northumbrian Waters Innovation Festival. Welcome to day four. Angela, how are you? I am all good. We are over the hump day and we are into the sprint to the fin finish line. We are indeed. Now you're looking very glamorous, but how do you feel? I actually feel on a high because it has been such an amazing week so far and it never fails to give me cheer that we've obviously had so many people on site and everybody's attitude changes towards what they're doing. And I've seen so many people that now are thinking differently even about the small things so lots of small ideas are coming out as well over 7,000 different ideas pinging out from all over the place and now we're kind of in the space where we're honing down those ideas to come up with business plans and really picking out on the ideas that are going to really make a big difference to our business let's sprint let's get to that let's finish sprint. line Should we actually sprint yes. let's sprint let's sprint currently I'm designing the vehicle of the future so you can have one vehicle that you can use for any, anything that you need to, and then you just clip on the back all sorts of different environments for carrying things or moving people or all sorts of stuff. So currently, I'm creating something that would go in between the driver's seat and passenger seat. It's a refrigerated unit, so it keeps your food cold so that they can go all day. And also, it's going to have cup holders to keep your coffee warm and your cold drinks cool. Today is an exciting one. It's all about control technology internet of things and SCADA and what we're looking at is what can we do to actually solve some real big business problems by mashing these two together. Well one group over here that are building an app um, with uh, for a way to celebrate and share the, leg the, the kind of legacy work we're doing with customers. Uh, we've got another group here that are thinking about how do we affect the culture within Northumbrian Water partners and then broader within kind of com potentially broader within communities as well. Angela, so there's a lot of success stories in these two tents, I believe. Absolutely. We've had 76 ideas out of all of the festivals so far, but what we've done is we've chosen 26 of those projects that show the whole range of different projects, right from the really high-tech, right to the customer and our employee-facing ideas. So this is one of the ideas that came out of the O2 Sprint last year, the Smiling Happy People. And actually it's all about menopause education and support. We have an ageing workforce and therefore we need to be very current with the sorts of things that people need to know about. A lot of people have leaky loos and they're not even aware that they have a leaky loo. So people can actually use this very, very simple test to see if their toilet is indeed leaking. When the flush is finished, the water should stop dripping down the back of the pan. But when it's leaking, it continually drips all day and it can be about 200 litres, which is about two and a half bathfuls. Customers at the heart of why we're doing all of this. We don't want them to have big bills. We also don't want to be wasting the water that we have. It's a precious resource. So actually both of those things are very, very near and dear to, uh, to what we do here. 
Now I am joined by none other than Georgie Barris. Georgie, how's it going? I mean, life's pretty good. We're sat in deck chairs yep. in the sunshine. I know. It, Music's playing. It's a tough life, isn't it? It's not, it's not too bad, <laughs> not too bad at all. I've been into quite a few sprints, um, which are really fascinating. So I've read about sprints. I've never actually been part of one before. Now I'm not like properly part of one, but I've just like nosied yeah, in popped and in. seen what they're up to. And it's really, really good. It's so exciting. It's such a brilliant way of getting like an idea, whittling it down and prototyping it at super speeds within a week. I know, Just the crazy, general right? levels of creativity are mind-blowing. What's been the best part of today? My favourite part was probably building the bridges. I like designing the structures. So we are in Plant Buddy. Now Tim, can you talk us through then your project and how it's all going? If one watering plant, so you can see the green and black dots, we're trying to work out when they need watering. So this one's thirsty, it needs more water. Otherwise it's going to die in a couple of days. I think today has actually been the calmest day out of all four so far. You can just see here, this is imagine that you're actually going down into an underground part where you need to replace something, but you've actually been called out in the middle of the night, you're a lone worker. And at that point in time, you're in an area where there's no actual signal. How are you going to get signal or get a message back to somebody that you're in difficulty? So this is where the drone will literally fly up and actually say, this man's down, the sensor suit has told me he's down, and I'm going to go and send that signal, I'm going to go find a 5G area, drop all the information from the sensors to that, and then pick up some information to take back to him to say, look, help us on this way. Well, this is it all, doesn't it? I am knackered. Day four, there we go. How do you feel, Angela? Yeah, I have to say that the battery levels are blinking. <sighs> Why but didn't we do all the interviews in this big check? We deck chair? so should have done. This is just the place to be. I have it is to say. the place, the to, place be. to be, especially on day four, coming yeah. to the end. Yeah. So today, the teams have been under mega, mega pressure. Um, what have you seen, and what have uh, what's blown your mind today? Well, I have to say. The uh, Ford tent had probably one of the best prototypes I've seen that is literally mind-blowing. I don't know what they've been doing in there, but they have got super creative. We've really grown and become more familiar with this, uh, with this process, mm -hmm. and everybody's just been quite relaxed and kind of going with the process. It's definitely uh, coming to fruition. So it's the end of day four and the teams are really making some outstanding progress in all of their sprints. But with only one day left, will these innovators behind us be able to live up to the legends of festivals past? Join us for day five where we will see ideas, light bulb moments and inspiration come to life. <laughs>